Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on Practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at FreeCodeCamp.com. In this video, we're doing challenge number 14 in the intermediate section, sum all primes. So, sum all the prime numbers up to and including the provided number. So, we've got the provided number here. This function takes one argument, and uh, we just have to add up all the prime numbers in that range. Um, so you might recall from uh, college or high school, a prime number is defined as having only two divisors, one and itself. For example, two is a prime number because it is only divisible by one and two. One isn't a prime number because it's only divisible by itself. Uh, the provided number may not be a prime number. And for this one, uh, they recommend using for loops and the push array method. So that's what I'm going to show you uh, what to do today. Um, just to take a look at an example. So if we have uh, the, the number 10 and uh, we need to sum all the prime numbers uh, up to and including the uh, provided number. All right, let's see what that would look like. Okay, so uh, right here we have a range of numbers, 1 through 10. So uh, instructions already told us that 1 is not a prime number, uh, but 2 is a prime number. 3 is a prime number. It can only be uh, divided without any remainders by 1 and itself. 4 is not, but 5 is. 6 is not, but 7 is. 8 is not, 9 is not because it could be divided by 1, 3, or 9, and 10 is not. Uh, it could be divided by 1, 2, 5, and itself 10. So uh, in, uh, in a range of 1 through 10, these are our prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, and 7. 2, 3, 5, and 7. Is that right? Yep, that's right. So um, if we add all of these numbers together, we get 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 7 is 17. So it should return 17. If we give it this number, 977, it should return, wow, a really big number to us. So uh, let's get started. Um, I've gone ahead and I, yep, good on. I always have to check the time. I've gone ahead and created a new JavaScript file, 14 sum all primes.js, and I went ahead and embedded that. Um, get out of there. I uh, went ahead and embedded that in my um, in my example.html file. I uh, have that open in my Chrome browser with the JavaScript console at the bottom. Okay, so let's uh, do it to it. Um, first thing I would like to do is uh, create an empty array. Um, and this is where I'm going to store my range of numbers. And um, and basically, uh, I'm going to do that by saying four var i equals two. I'm not even going to bother with one. Um, one uh, I I already know is is not um, a prime number. So so why start at one? Why create a range of numbers one through ten? I'm just going to start two through ten, and that's that's just better for us. All right, so we're going to continue going um, up to and including the provided number. So that's what we're doing right here. And then I plus plus. Okay. okay. So uh, basically uh, what we're going to do uh, in, in this for loop, um, if I is a prime number, then we're going to push it to this range right up here. Now, um, uh, I could do all that logic right here where like, I'm checking whether or not i, this number, is, uh, is a prime number. That's going to really make my for loop kind of bloated. And it's not good coding practice um, to, to put all of your logic and all of your code in like one function. So I'm actually going to break this out into another function. Um, and and, uh, and and do it all in there. Uh, this way, it keeps my code like more legible. It, it's modular, and you know every function that you do, it should have like one responsibility. Uh, that's a good coding practice and something that you should get into the habit of. So um, basically, I'm going to create a range. I'm going to say if 
is prime number i, okay? And then I'm gonna say range dot push i, okay? So uh, what is this, is prime number? Well, that's gonna be the name of my new for uh, my new uh, function. And uh, in JavaScript, um, functions, uh, they, they can be written pretty much anywhere. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, I'm going to create a new function. Um, I mean, I could put it on the inside of this function or I could put it on the outside, uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so let me just uh, keep everything clear, uh, put it on the outside. So I'm gonna say function is prime number, I'm gonna call this num, okay? And uh, yeah, let's do another loop. So four bar x equals two, okay. uh, x is less than num, x plus plus. Okay, so um, we're looping through our range, two through the provided number, and uh, through each iteration of this loop, we're going to call this new function is prime number, and we're just passing it um, the w whatever current number we are um, in the loop. And so um, that would be i, uh, but over here we're calling it num. Okay, so once we get that number, we're going to check all uh, of the numbers starting from two uh, all the way up to but not including um, including the number provided here. Um, and then if, okay, uh, let's see here, do, do, checking my notes. Okay, so if num can be divided by x, and there is no remainder, that means it's divisible by that, so we're going to break out of this loop, return false. Okay, and let's see, else, well, I don't need an else. Okay, I'm just gonna say return true. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just see what's happening right here. Um, let's say in my, Let's check the time. Okay, plenty of time. Let's say in uh, in this iteration right here, um, I'm I'm currently on number seven. Okay, so just imagine with me here, um, like we're looping here in this for loop, and we're starting at two and we're going uh, all the way up to number. In this case, we're calling it with ten. Let's just imagine that uh, we are uh, we are just currently on the number seven. So we're going to call this function is prime number, and we're going to pass it i. And just imagine that i is seven right now. And so we call the prime number function is prime number function, and so num is seven. So we're going to create another for loop. We're starting at two. Remember, prime numbers are divisible only by one and itself. So there, uh, there's no reason to you know, start this for loop with one. And there's no reason to, uh, to you know, include itself in this loop. Basically, I'm checking if any other number other than one or the number itself can, uh, if any other number can be a divisor, okay? And that's how we check for it. So let's see, this is num, all right? We're gonna start from two and we're gonna loop all the way through six. So uh, we keep looping so long as x is less than num. So we're gonna loop two, three, four, five, and six. So it, can we divide seven by two and get a zero remainder? Nope. Um, uh, seven divided by two, uh, you get a remainder, uh, I believe you get a remainder of one in JavaScript. Okay, um, seven divided by three, a remainder? Nope. Seven divided by four, a remainder? Nope. Seven divided by five, and a remainder? Nope. Seven divided by six, and a remainder? Nope. Okay, so if we can go through this whole for loop, without getting uh, any number that can divide into, um, into this, then we're gonna return true. Now let's go ahead and imagine that uh, in our loop, we get uh, to the number eight, all right? So that's the next, um, the next uh, number we're gonna pass to is prime number. So num is now eight, all right? Keep that in mind. Um, 
So we're starting with two. We're going to go all the way to seven now. So x is less than none. That's uh, that's when the for loop will will uh, stop executing. Um, all right, num so eight divided by two. Does it have a remainder? No, it doesn't have a remainder because two can go into eight four times with zero remainder. So we are going to return false. And this breaks the loop. It just returns false. So for seven, is prime number, this is a true statement. It's returning true to us for seven. And if it is true, if this evaluates to true, we're going to push that number into the range array. However, if it's not a prime number, if it's 8, this will evaluate to false. And we're not going to do jack to it. So uh, we're not going to push that to the uh, range uh, array. Uh, okay, so um, that's, that's what's going on right here. So after we iterate through and determine which one is a prime number and which one isn't, all we have to do now is just sum them all up. We've got all the prime numbers in an array, so let's just use our good friend, the uh, reduce method. So range dot reduce function a, b, k. We've done this a hundred times before. a plus b. All right, I'm going to save this. I'm going to call it with an argument of 10, and I should get uh, 17 in our console. So I hope this works. And would you look at that? It works. It works. Awesome. So um, the, the key takeaway here is um, don't, don't put all of your logic in a single function. Sometimes it makes sense to break it up into uh, several different functions. And you could do this absolutely in JavaScript. And it doesn't matter necessarily. Well, in this situation, it doesn't matter. I could put the function inside of here and it would still work. I still get 17. I could I could take this and, and I could put it at the top instead of the bottom. Save that and it would still work. I still get 17. So it just doesn't matter. Um, functions, they get um, hoisted to the top. Um, and, uh, and and right now, both of these functions, they're kind of like in the global uh, space. Um, if I had put this function inside of this one, then it would only been available to, to um, uh, within this function and not outside of it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, for, for this simple example, inside, outside of subprimes, below, on top, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're just separating the logic um, by, by creating a new function and we're just calling that. And so instead of having all this code bloating up our for loop, and that would be kind of uh, illegible, um, now we have this nice, very human readable is prime number, and uh, and it's just right here, you know, kind of nice and neat. Okay, so um, that's all the time that we have for in this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching as usual. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, please let me know in the comments below. And I just totally forgot. Let's let's see if this code actually works on the Free Code Camp website. I would hate to show you something and it doesn't work. Uh, okay, it should work. Pretty sure it will. Okay, we knew you could do it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're so nice. Uh, okay, so anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, questions, comments, suggestions for improvements uh, in the comments, uh, as usual. If you like this video, please share the love uh, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Share it with uh, Facebook, the interwebs. You know what to do uh, if you're watching this video. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye for now. Boop. Boop.